everyone's favorite day, leg day. I'm gonna show you four workouts that I like to do that give me a pretty symmetrical look, both the front part of my leg and the back part of my leg, and a little bit of juicy calf action. So stick around and enjoy. Okay, so to start off leg day, I would recommend going with this warm up on the leg press machine. It's very easy to use and it gets you like mentally zoned in and gets your legs really primed for the workout ahead. So I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I do like to incorporate these like as a superset along with the leg press. I mean, I'm already there, so I may as well just uh, burn out some calves while I'm at it. All right, now I'm gonna move into the first heavy set, 12 reps. Okay, so for this first heavy compound workout, I like to go as heavy as I can. I substitute it for squats, actually, and I feel like I can get really good results as long as I'm going heavy and keeping the reps as high as I can. So, you know, it's a good substitute for squats, especially if you have problems doing squats. So one thing that I think is very important, especially when training, is to wear a belt. It keeps your stomach tight and keeps your air in your stomach so you don't expand it too much and create some sort of injury in your lower back. So I always recommend it. So let's transition into the Smith squat. I also substitute this for the regular squat. I think it's a little bit easier on my back and I can focus a little bit more on my actual legs, like my thighs, and not having to worry about balancing the rack on my back if it was like on a, a squat rack. So I definitely recommend this exercise as well for building some pretty, you know, well-defined legs. set the drop set Whew. so as you can see I do like to incorporate drop sets a lot in my exercises I mostly do this when I'm trying to like cut and expend more calories uh, the drop sets go right after your heavy set and you just drop the weight by like 50% and do and you just rep it out like at least 15 reps but focus on your form. It requires more oxygen so you know you're going to be burning more calories and burning more fat because of that. So yeah. Alright moving on to the third exercise. Focus on some hamstrings, deadlifts. Ooh. One thing I would definitely give a little tip on on these exercises before you start them is to A, wear the waist belt and to keep your stomach tight and your back straight. It's one of the easiest ways to get injured. I've done so myself on like a million occasions. So I recommend you proceed with caution. Again, this is a great exercise to develop the back of your legs, your hamstrings. And when you go down, just always try to focus on not bending your knees too much so that you can feel the stretch in the back of your leg and that means that you're working it. So this creates a very symmetrical leg, you know, proportionate. So don't underestimate this exercise. I definitely recommend you give it a try. Oh. 
Okay, the good old thigh extension. This workout is great at the end of your workout, I would recommend, because it really burns out the fibers in your legs once you've pretty much killed them with your compound movements, with the heavy exercises. This focuses more on definition, so go high reps as heavy as you can and focus on your form. Yeah. <laughs> Moving into leg curls, this is for the back of your leg again, this is an isolation movement, it works like the deadlift, but it's uh, much easier as you can tell because you're just seated, so it gives you the opportunity to really focus on the back of your legs as best as you can and bringing out the definition by going with high reps and as heavy as you can, so kill it! <laughs> Got a quench, a thirst. Well, that concludes the leg session. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you incorporate it into your workouts, and I hope you get some good results. Check you in the next one.